Welcome! In this tutorial I will show you how to use conditional rendering with very interesting approach of JSX Babel Display Eve. So, as you maybe know, when you want to render something under conditional rendering, with React there are a few approaches. With Eve in the function, like here, as you see, or usually we use something like um, this approach with end operator or uh, this case. It works fine, but uh, sometimes you need uh, something more elegant and uh, nicely looking. Or this approach with Ternor operator. Okay, how can we use it with display if? As you see, we have some component and we will add display if and the logical operator inside. If uh, operator is true, we show this component, if not, we don't show it. it this approach replaces this one. If we have color, we render it, if not, return null. Okay, uh, how can we use it? First of all, let's create some component uh, and uh, check, does it work or not? Const uh, banner, for example, we need um, text and uh, is active, for example, or only And we want to show it um, banner, but uh, as always we want to show if, if it if it's something active. So let's uh, import uh, use state from React, and uh, as you see, we use uh, create React application empty one, I put it under the client folder, it's just a sample, sample application without anything. As you see, we have only index.js, where we render application component, and inside application component, up, we have almost nothing. We want to show this banner and um, text. And we want to show it if uh, something is active, so const um, use state by default it will be true and uh, for example let's add the um, button change and when we use on click we want to set active banner uh, is active opposite value uh, and uh, okay how can we usually show it let's render now it's nothing okay, usually what you do uh, is active banner and uh, So it's one approach. Another one with uh, this one. Let's check. Works. But we want to do it without this code and uh, only with props approach. It looks interesting. So let's add the display if uh, is active banner. Let's check and as you see it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work because of React does not know anything about display if property. How can we change it? Let's do the next one. We will install this Babel plugin display if. How we will do it? As you know we can't uh, easily update Babel 
for React without ejecting, but we need this plugin. How we will fix the issue? We let's install Krakow. It's a simple way how you can update your default Babel configuration for React application. As you see, it's create React application configuration override. And we can override uh, everything what we need for your React application. Create it with create React app. Okay, let's install Krakow. Uh, go to the project. Uh, yarn add uh, Krakow. The next one, we need to create Krakow config JS file. New file Krakow config. And uh, we need the next one update package JSON. As you see, we need to replace React scripts with the Krakow. Go to package JSON. Uh, React scripts we will update with Krakow. And now when we will call yarn start, when we call yarn start, we will execute Krakow start. We have this dependency. Okay, uh, now let's re rerun application, yarn start, as you see, uh, config file not found. Okay, let's add uh, some configuration to the Krakow file. For example, you can copy everything what we have. Put it and uh, now we will remove everything what is not related to the Babel. Now we will need only plugins section. And remove person else. Okay. Let's start. Krakow start. Now as you see we started. Okay, nothing, still nothing works, but we didn't install this plugin yet. Okay, let's go to installation section and uh, we need install it with uh, save dev. It's development part. Yarn add uh, Babel plugin JS X display if and uh, slash dash D as its development part. Now from the configuration you see that we need update new plugin edit. Let's copy and in Krakow JS for the plugins we will add new JS X display if plugin. Okay. Uh, now we have application, everything was installed. Now let's stop and run again. Refresh the page. And uh, as you see, when we click change, everything works fine. Now your React knows what is display if property and all components from any library, everything what you will use inside your React application will be with, uh, will works, will work with the display if props. So it's basically it, how you can use new way of conditional rendering with React is interesting approach. Also now you know how to update your configuration, for example, for Babel, inside your create React app application, just use Krakow. So, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, press like button for this video. And uh, thank you for watching.